Charlie Kirk went after Lindsey Graham. We've talked a lot already, um, but to give you a little bit of a summary for the people watching this in segment form, uh, Lindsey Graham proposed a piece of legislation that would ban abortion federally at 15 weeks, and it's caused a lot of the conversation to shift back, even though it was still being discussed. It's even more focused on abortion rights. And a lot of people on the right are really upset about this because it's not good for the Republican Party politically. Um, so here's another example of this. Charlie Kirk uh, calling this election interference. Now, I just want to reemphasize this. I am 100% pro-life. I am outspokenly pro-life. I am so pro-life that I'll debate anybody on the topic at any time. The only exception I could possibly imagine is life of the mother. And I will defend that position morally, scientifically, and biologically, and philosophically. But introducing a piece of legislation that you do not have the votes for, like not even close to having the votes for, it's not going to pass, is the only rationale is that you want this election to be about abortion? And if it was Josh Hawley, I would say, okay, or Ted Cruz, why is Lindsey Graham, 25 days out from ballots going out, galloping in and saying, we need a federal abortion ban? Really, where have you been, Lindsey Graham? That feels like election interference. And I say this as someone who is so pro-life, I would love a total abortion ban. 15 weeks is not enough, but I'm also not dumb. 25 days out from ballots going out, the Democrats are applauding. Thank you, Lindsey Graham, for making this issue about abortion. They're enthusiastic that Lindsey Graham is now making this all about the one issue Democrats actually can win suburban women on. I wish that wasn't the case. I wish that the country was as pro-life as I am. So he's correct, which is not something I find myself doing a lot, agreeing with Charlie Kirk. I mean, obviously not about his uh, pro-life stance, but about the reality of this politically. So someone who <laughs> proclaims to be so pro-life, it's insane, being Charlie Kirk, uh, is even upset about this, a piece of legislation that largely he would agree with being proposed because it's so politically damaging. And I honestly don't understand as I said before in the previous segment, why Lindsey Graham did this. It makes no sense. And I'm great that he made clear to the American people what the Republican Party stands for, because this is what they would ultimately want to see. Absolutely. Probably more, definitely more extreme than that. But from a political standpoint, right before a midterm, you know that this piece of legislation is not going to pass. You're not, not even in power. So the Democratic Party isn't going to cross the aisle to pass this piece of legislation. All it is, is a big proclamation that, hey, if you put us in power, we'll try this. That's devastating for them politically. And uh, if Charlie Kirk is seeing it, it's there. <laughs> he has a hard time seeing quite obvious things. Uh, and so I think this is a great example of how ever since the overturning of Roe v. Wade, it's almost this feeling of the Republican Party is the dog who caught the car right? For so long, they've wanted Roe v. Wade to be overturned. They've wanted to have the ability to legislate about uh, what women are doing at any point in their pregnancy. And now they got it. They got the ability and don't know what to do with themselves. They're stumbling and mumbling and falling apart. In Kansas, getting backhanded by the voters, uh, deciding to keep abortion rights in their constitution in a red state, Tons of elections being swayed heavily by this issue and them not really knowing what to do with themselves now that they have the opportunity to do what they've been wanting to for so long. And it's really fascinating to see. Hopefully people will be motivated by this issue and understand what Lindsey Graham wants to do as all of these right wingers who are criticizing him admit is also what they want to do is have a federal legislation. Um, not all of them admit to this, but they in their heart of hearts, uh, that would ban abortion after a certain point. That is what they want to do. And it would cause, um, 
huge ramifications, as we've seen with certain states who have put these laws in place and women being uh, massively hurt, massively lives threatened, all that type of stuff. And that is, in their ideal world, what the federal law would reflect. And so it's so important that people understand that, uh, recognize it, and show up to the polls because of it.